and welcome back to Me, My Foliage Family. Today we are going to be talking about Calathea repens. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is that plant. It's otherwise known as a turtle vine or a creeping inch plant. It is in the Trandoscantia family. Um, it has very small waxy leaves and the leaves are actually supposed to be this really cute striped pink and green although this plant has pretty much reverted which we're going to talk about and actually might still say on here i'm pretty sure i got this plant at just a rona or a lowe's and it was absolutely cheap it was probably probably for about half of this it was about $10, 10 to $12. Although um, this one actually completely died. So what I had done is I actually cut off all of the ends and I repotted them into the same pot. I've never put it up a pot and then it just continued to vine. Although it did revert. So revert means that it goes from its, um, what it's supposed to be, the coloring, the pink coloring, just back to like a straight green, um, the backs of these guys are like a merlot purple, but it's really hard to see unless you're super close up. If you have any other plants that are beautiful in color and then revert or start growing just green, like maybe a pearls and jade pothos, that means that they're just not getting enough light and they're not the photosynthesis. <laughs> this plant actually originates from Central or Southern America, so it likes that hot humidity weather. And it is actually a creeping vine, as you can see, so it does make a really good ground cover for any of your gardens or any ground cover in some of your larger pots. It's a very, very small, like, kind of thick, waxy, arrow-shaped leaf. And this guy literally grows so fast, but if you have it indoors, it might grow a little bit slower. So you wanna make sure that you're giving it a lot of light. So obviously, let's talk about lighting. So lighting and talking about the reverting of the colors, you wanna be giving your Calacea repens actually quite a bit of light. In the summertime, I don't think that you need to give it direct sunlight, but it needs to be in a very lit space with lots of light. In the winter time, you can give it direct sunlight because the sun isn't as strong Wrong. So you want to be mindful with the lighting. You, If you want your plant to stay pink, like the, the light pink that it's supposed to be, then you really want to be making sure that you have the correct lighting because if it doesn't have that correct lighting, then it will revert back to the green. When it comes to the watering of your Calacea repens, I personally water it every seven to 10 days. Most of my house plants are like that because they're in my house. But what I do find about the Calacea is it actually likes to stay wet. So do not let the soil dry out, but also don't overwater it. It does not want to be sitting in water. It's in a nursery pot and then it's in another pot. It does have drainage, but it doesn't drain very well. So the water will pool on the bottom and you don't want that. You don't want your plant to have wet feet. So make sure you empty out any water after you water to make sure if it drains through into the cash pot, then it's not sitting in a puddle. If you want to keep your Calacea trailing, vining, bushy, especially bushy at the top, because as you can see right up here, it is actually a little bit bare. Um, you want to prune the plants. So you're just going to take the bottoms. And like I said at the beginning of this video, if you prune it, you can just literally plop it into soil. It might not look pretty. Give it a couple months and it'll look like this and it'll look nice and viney and bushy. Or again, if you have a larger Calacea, then you can split the pot up and put it into another pot. So on the terms of toxicity, a lot of indoor plants are toxic to humans and pets. I have found 2021 and 2022 studies on this plant saying that it is not toxic to humans and animals, although I have found other articles that say that it is toxic. So you really want to make sure that you're doing your research. I would be probably unsure about this guy, and when I'm unsure, I'm obviously going to go with the it is toxic. But check out my quick one minute short that's going to be linked in the description of this video, all about the toxicity and some medicinal purposes I found on this plant. Alright you guys, we've come to the end of this video, which means you're going to help me name this plant. Like I said, it's not the happiest at the top there. It is supposed to be pink, but it has mostly reverted back to its green. So it's kind of gnarly and 
gaggly, so if you can find like kind of a weird name for this, I will pin the comment which name I like the most at the top of the comment section. But uh, yeah, help me name this beauty. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video, XOXOMM. Bye!